Hello everyone, this is the Bearded Walrus, and welcome to The People of the World, episode 2. And this time we're going to be doing a nice stereotypical nerd, or geek, or whatever, same thing really. So, right, we're going to go male, obviously. And then, when it loads, as well as doing a prediction of my friend in 10 years' time, this is going to sound, this is, by the end of it, I'll say this now. Um, what did I say? <laughs> Shit, I forgot. Prediction for our friend in 10 years' time, and if you go up at the end, it's going to seem really harsh. But anyway, right. He's currently a teen, he will be a young adult. In 10 years, wait, let me think about that. Yes. Okay, right. So, we bump this up a lot. This is just my prediction, it's not certified to happen. Muscle size, no. Definition, well if there's nothing there, there's nothing to define. And you can't really have fat defined muscles. But anyway, yeah, so this is my prediction. About there. Okay, hair. Now nerds often have um, odd hairstyles. But there isn't any of them. Like, I would like there to be a comb over, but there's no option for that, so we're just gonna have to use this one. <laughs> Yeah. Eyebrows. We can give him a nice thick unibrow like that. Because, of course, that's what everybody wants, don't they? Right, and then for beard and moustache. Maybe like this. Yeah. And then for body hair. By the way, I got the new Get update out. because on the last one we didn't have any body hair. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'll just zoom out a second. Yes, that is... That is more like it. Okay, right. So at the moment, it's just like a, it's a bear at the moment. The chest, stomach. Yeah, the moment is a bear, but um, he will eventually be a nerd. Watch this. So on looks, I'm gonna change a few things to to swap it up. Did <laughs> you see his eyebrows? His eyebrows both went up, and his uni brow stayed there. Right. Anyway, so this one, for obvious reasons. Then the eyes. It's nice. Um. They're a bit odd. One's like that. Because he's been staring at a computer screen too long. Because he's a nerd. Uh, average sort of nose. Nothing too big. Just like that'll do. The clothes are the main part for each one, I'd say. So we're just going to flick through these quite fast. Oh, yeah, they're. Um, and tattoos. Um, no. It's impossible Sorry, anyway, you'd have to get a head trimmer to find your way to the skin. Right, anyway, uh, let's have a look at clothes. Clothes. Okay, so is everyday wear. Hmm. No, that's too stylish. Something like this. Yeah. Very, very upmarket. And then the trousers, something like those. Although they were what the, the Peter wore, Peter word wore, not word. So maybe, maybe something like these. Yep, he's looking, <laughs> looking very stylish. Shoes. I don't know, just some normal shoes, maybe these, yes, everything matches. Formal wear, okay, let's have a look through his formal stuff, maybe that one, some of these, yeah, it's like a teacher. 
sleepwear. Hmm. Yeah, probably something along those lines. Pretty sure that it, that would be a sleepwear. Remember, this is in ten years' time. Okay, so this isn't too harsh. Okay, then athletic. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Right. One of them. Maybe some some of these. Oh no, one of those to match. Perhaps. Jesus, he's gonna scare some people with his legs. You're gonna be unsuspecting, and they're gonna look at his legs. They're gonna to be scarred for life. Something like this. Swimwear. Avert your eyes now. Okay, too late. I'm sorry. Sorry for that. That was a bit late on the uptake. Some of those I could imagine just hanging out at the swimming pool. Oh no, hold on. He needs glasses in each one. I forgot about those. How could I forget? We let go. There we go. Now we're on to the nerd. Here. And then informal as well. Of these ones. Even at night. <laughs> Even at night. More doing so. Something like them. Athletic isn't wearing them. Swimwear doesn't need them. Okay. Um. Okay, right. So, what's your average nerd gonna have? Bookworm. As well as this being a prediction as well. I'm trying to mix a prediction with an old nerd computer whiz, maybe. Easily impressed, that could. Frugal, genius, good, good sense, great, because he's grumpy, handy. Hates the outdoors, yeah. Yeah, definitely, he's not going to be going outside much, is he? Loner, not a loser, because that's a bit harsh. Not, I mean, I've not been harsh so far, have I? Look at him, perfectly normal. An unflirty, that sounds about right. Professional author. He, he can be the, the DNA guy. Favourite food. So much to choose from. Try tip steak. Electronic. I know he's really into electronica. <laughs> Not really, but favorite color, hot pink. Deepa Hadura, oh, Brad, Chabo, Pablo Herbie, Ebly Condoroy, Chapel Glow. Why doesn't it just pitch? It doesn't Lasso, work. Tor. Anyway, and then astrological sign. I don't know what the hell he is. So he's Leo for now. Edit bio. Shane. Grew up and moved out of home at the age of 19. Then he moved back in with his parents until he was 57. 47 when he found his soul mate Charles <laughs> and we're going to make his soul mate Charles let's add another sim shall we And they can be nerds together. But this, but this guy, I'm gonna make m more of a nerd because that, that was my prediction. This is a nerd. He's Charles. They've been married happily five years now. He's an adult. Skin color again. 
But he's he's one of the different types. Charles needs capital C. I don't know why I have to correct that, but he's one of the different types. He's one of the um the the skinny lanky nerds. I hate them ones more. Really hate them ones. Anyway, right, enough of me. He's got he, he's blonde. Don't know why. Because of genetics, that's why. He's got a little on these little things here. And no that looks too stylish. There we go. Looks. It's got a slender face. Some odd looking eyes. <laughs> Look at those. Tipped nose. My voice won't be then. His mouth. It was very age detailed. <laughs> Shane, I know you're watching this and I don't know what you're doing marrying an old gay guy. Just who wears makeup. Okay, on to the clothes. This is one of your um, old realistic nerds wearing something along these lines. And those trousers because he thinks he's hip and with it like the young people yeah those look perfect formal yeah if a formal it won't be that bad he can wear one of these he's doing cosplay with his glasses sleepwear robe course athletic see shall we not that he'll ever be athletic change boyfriend or husband even but if he did he would wear these swimwear something along those lines with something along those lines showing off really well he is very artistic He's a bookworm, he's a proper nerd, computer whiz, he's a real nerd, like full on, not like Shane, who's like half there. So. He is yeah, genius, and he is also, ah, according to Shane, a great kisser, no. Um, he is very neat. Likes to keep his computer files in order. His lifetime wish is to be is to be a world-renowned surgeon, so he can do something with his life. And we're back. I minimised it again. God damn it! Right, um, hot pink. No, he's violet. Favorite food: sushi because he's an oriental guy. Latin. Yep, so that's Donald his voice, Lato, he's an Aries, and let's do his bio. Charles met Shane when they were both first playing as Chun Lee. They compared legs and quickly hit it off after a few rounds of magic the gathering followed by chess in bed okay there we go so there's Charles that's Shane's partner there is my prediction for Shane. Sashko. They're the two types of nerds. There's this type, which is loading. Yep, and then so. there's this type. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have if you if you've stuck it out this far, well done. I certainly wouldn't have probably. But yeah. Um if you like random crap like this, I'll do more because I'm bored. 
and yeah thanks for watching if you liked subscribe and like and i'll be sure to do more and i will see you next time with I'm not sure who i'm going to create next time actually stereotypical something or other anyway see you guys